Welcome to another Figma tutorial. In this video, we're going to teach you the basics of components. We'll show you how they can be a powerful addition to your designs. Components are UI elements that can be reused across your design files. They help make your designs more consistent and allow for changes to be made quickly. You can create a component from layers, groups, and frames. When we think about components, we also need to think about instances. The master component, or just component for short, is created first and is responsible for defining many of the styles of the UI element. A component instance is a single occurrence of the master component. When the master component is updated, all of the instances are updated automatically. To create a new component, we first need to select the layers to be included. Here, we have an orange rectangle and a text layer, which we would like to use to create a button component. We can drag to select both layers and click the component icon in the toolbar to create our first component. We can also use the Option Command K shortcut or right click and select Create Component from the menu. In the Layers panel, we see the purple master component icon indicating that we have created a component. We can also see that our two layers are nested within that newly created component. You may have many components in a single file. To view all of the components in a file, select the Components tab at the bottom of the Layers panel or use the keyboard shortcut Option 2. How do we reuse a component? We do this by creating a component instance, or just instance for short. There are several ways to create instances from components. With our component selected, we can create a duplicate of a master component by selecting it and using the shortcut Command D. Hold down the Alt key, click and drag out an instance from the component. Copy and paste it to another location with the Command C and Command V shortcuts. Or from the Components tab, Click and drag a copy onto the canvas. We can see in the Layers panel that master components have a quadruple diamond icon, while an instance has a single diamond icon. Eventually, you may have many instances of components in your file. To quickly locate the master component, right-click on an instance and choose Go to Master Component, or select it from the Properties panel. Let's see how the relationship between components and instances work. On the left, we have our component, and on the right, an instance of our component. When we change the background of the button inside the master component, the instance is automatically updated. Imagine we are designing a website where several buttons are used. To do this without components, we would need to manually change the background color for all of the buttons. However, when using components, only the master component needs to be changed and all of the instances are updated. Changes made to an instance's properties are called overrides. Overrides allow designers to create variations on the original component. If changes are made to the master component, the overrides on our instance remain unchanged. Examples of properties that can be overridden are text properties, fill, stroke, effects like shadows and blurs, and bounding box dimensions. However, properties that affect the layout of layers within an instance are not overridable. Examples of these types of properties include size, position, rotation, constraint settings, layer hierarchy, point, and bezier positions. If we want to clear overrides from our instances, we can select the things that we want to reset and choose Reset Instance from the top toolbar. You can also reset instance in the Properties panel. It is possible to detach a component instance from its master component. Doing this will prevent the instance from inheriting changes made to the component. With an instance selected, use Option Command B or choose Detach Instance from the Instance section in the Properties panel. Alternatively, right click on the instance and select Detach Instance. If you accidentally create a component and want to break or undo that action, you can create an instance of the component. Detach the instance, then delete the component. If a master component was accidentally deleted, restoring it is easy. Find an instance of the component, click Restore Master Component in the Instance section of the Properties panel. If we resize a layer within a component, which either reduces or grows the size of the component, we notice the original dimensions of the component bounding box remain the same. To update the dimensions of our component, select it and click Resize to Fit in the Properties panel. You can also double-click on the bounding box. 
This will resize the bounding box of the component and any instances to fit the layers inside. Resize to fit is not available for instances. Let's review what we've learned today. Create master components using the Option Command K shortcut. Component instances are an occurrence of a master and update automatically. Open the Components tab by using the Option 2 shortcut. Overrides change the properties of instances. Use Resize to Fit to resize the bounding box of a master component.